Hey guys, TDV here, and we're back with another episode for the Voxel Tutorial uh, series for Unity. And today we're going to be working on the UV map. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, block class here. And we're actually going to go ahead and change the constructor uh, to take the is transparent boolean as well as a texture... Or sorry, not a texture 2D, a, uh, an array of vector 2 positions. And we can go ahead and call this UV. We're also going to store this as a private variable in the block. And we can go ahead and name this uh, UV map. And set it as a vector to array as well. So in the constructor for that new one, we're also going to do this dot underscore UV map is going to be equal to the UV map that we get in. Uh, actually, we're going to scratch that. Instead of doing that, I want to take a string of the name of the block instead. Uh, we're going to keep the private UV map there as well, but we're also going to have a uh, private string for the name. And down here, we're going to do the name and we're going to change it to this dot name is equal to name. And the reason we're going to do that is we're going to search up the UV map uh, via the name of it. So we don't need to have it at this creation. Uh, also in this constructor, we're going to go ahead and get the data that we need. We're going to hop back over into Unity here. We're going to create a new c -sharp script, and we're going to name this UV map as well. And we're going to create an additional one, and we're going to call it Texture Atlas. Go ahead and load up Texture Atlas. We can remove the mono behavior there and the start functions here. So. Like our other things, we're going to want a instance of it, a public static uh, texture atlas, and it's going to be the instance of it. Uh, we can also make it read only. So in that, we're going to go ahead and create a function called gather or let's do render or let's do create atlas and this is going to become a void and we're gonna go ahead and jump into our directory that we have it in i already have a uh, folder here i stripped it from an instance of minecraft save a little bit of time here uh, I'm going to put it in the root here, uh, texture folder, blocks, and then we're going to have our kind of blocks. We're going to make sure that all of them are the desired width. In my case, it's going to be 16 by 16 for now. I'll probably change that in the future. Um, now that we're here, let's go ahead and do a few things. Let's go in using system.io. And let's go ahead and do a string array. And we can name this images. And it's going to be equal to system.io. I'm sorry, we can do file or no directory dot get files. And we're gonna give it the path. So it's gonna be in textures uh, block. Textures blocks. Uh, lowercase. Okay, and to make sure that we're getting it all correctly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a for each loop, for each string s in images. We're gonna output the name of the string uh, of the file, and before that, we can do image found for atlas, and we can do a colon, a space, and then let's see how that works. Uh, but before we do that, we're also going to need to go into our main here, Game Manager. And down here, where we're starting everything up, before we do any of this, we need to get our images. But we'll go ahead and do texture atlas dot underscore instance dot create atlas, like so. Now let's see if it outputs what we need it to. Okay, so I'm getting a directory not found here. So that is actually, that can happen quite frequently if not have flash here. 
I don't believe we need one here, but we'll test it out in a second. Add that there as well. Okay, so it appears it's not actually saving what I'm doing in this file, so I'm going to go ahead and load it up through Unity. Still dumping the error with the directory. That the slash is not at the end here. Okay, so here we go. So we found plenty of images here. Also, we can do a safe note here, and we can search all of these and make sure that they're all the correct uh, width and length, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Uh, we're going to make a int of the pixel width, and I'm going to set it to 16, and the same for the pixel height as well. Like so. And down here, I'm going to make a texture 2D atlas is going to be equal to new texture 2D. We're going to need to give it uh, the value for width and height. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, and up here, we're going to need to calculate the width and the height. So, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a width and a height. So, we're going to make a float. And it is going to be called text, uh, atlas width. And it's going to be equal to mathf dot seal to integer. And inside of that, we're going to need to do a mathf dot uh, square root of the amount of images in the uh, string array. So we're going to do underscore images dot count or dot length and then we're going to multiply that by the pixel width like so and we're going to need to do the exact same thing again except for the height and this is going to allow us to have different width and height images like so okay so now that we have that we're going to go ahead and do the atlas width and the atlas height. And let's go ahead and convert these into integers instead of floats like we had before. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna make a counter over here so we can keep track of where we are. Or you know what, instead of that, let's go ahead and make a for loop. Uh, x is going to be equal to 0, x is going to be less than atlas width divided by pixel width. Like so. And we're going to do the exact same thing except for the height on the y-axis. And let's go ahead and create the atlas. So we're going to do atlas dot... Or no, actually let's do a texture 2D. Uh, well, let's call it temp. It's going to be equal to a new texture 2D. We can already set those to zeros. And what we're going to do is temp dot load image. Now, before we do that, I also want to go up here and add a counter. We can set it to zero, and at the end of our for loop, we can increment it up. So, before we do this, we also want to check if images dot length is less than or equal to or no sorry the other way around we're going to want to do if count is greater than or equal to images dot length minus one then what we're going to do is we're going to go to end create this 
down here. So these are created like this. They're kind of like little pseudo functions. I forget what they're called, but it'll jump us down to here and get us out of there. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and access the images and the location is going to be count. And we're going to do system dot, oh, we're going to do file dot do file dot read all bytes and we're going to be using the directory here so okay now in our atlas what we're going to do is we're going to do atlas dot set pixels like so and now we're going to need to calculate the position that we're at so set pixels has four different uh, variables that we need to get in. We need to get it, its x position, which is going to be x times pixel width. And y times pixel height. And the width and the height of the block, which is going to be the pixel width. And the pixel height. Like so. And then now we need to give it all the pixels that we need to transfer over. And we can do that by doing temp.getPixels. Like so. That is a function. Okay, so now here at end, what we're gonna do is actually save this atlas to file so we can take a peek at it. So we're gonna do system.io.file. Sorry, we have that imported. So let's just do file.write all bytes. And it's going to be atlas. code to ping like so and we need to give it a path so let's just dump it to atlas.ping like so and let's see how that runs okay so we got a null reference down here take a peek at to what that is right here on the go check that over Oh, that's from the chunks. Never mind. We can ignore that. Go ahead and take a peek at the atlas here and see how it loaded. It looks like it only grabbed one of the images and highly distorted. Take a, another look over here. Position is going to be here. Right, and that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to move the uh, multiplication of the pixel width and the height to outside of the uh, square root of them. Now we can go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, now hopping back over into here. Ignore that. Look. Now our next problem is going to be creating a texture map of that. Oh, we actually have a script for that down. UV map. Oh, also not going to be a mono. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to have a, a public string of name and a public vector to UV map. Well, we're going to have a constructor and it will take the string name and the vector2 array of uh, this dot name is going to be equal to name and this dot uv map is going to be like so uh, at the top we're going to have a public static or no, we're going to have a private static list of UV maps after we use system.collections generic. 
list of UV map here. We can call it maps. And we can go ahead and initiate, uh, initialize that. And we'll have a function down here called register. And all it's going to do is add itself to the maps. And we will also have, that needs to be void, a search function here, public UV map get UV map, and it will take a name. So we'll go for each UV map M in maps. If m.name.equals, uh, and we'll do name. Then return M. Else, down here, if we don't get anything, then we're just going to return maps and it's going to be number zero. So, back into our texture atlas here. This is where we're going to need to calculate all this stuff. So, for sake of time, I'm actually going to go ahead and take. So we're going to do float start x is going to be the start position and it's going to be pixel width here. Start y is y times pixel height. Uh, per pixel ratio is going to be pixel divided by the atlas's width. Capital atlas in our case here. Start x is going to be equal to start x times the per pixel ratio and the same. Y, uh, we can go ahead and change this here. Like the end X is going to be equal to start X plus the per pixel rate applied by the uh, width. And the same here, except by pixel height. And we're going to use UV map. M is going to be equal to new UV map. Go ahead and skip this part here and just use this here. UV map M is going to be equal to map. Here. And we're going to use is like before and that's going to be the name of it the vector 2 is going to be just like before except instead of 0 and 1 we're going to use start x start y start x and y and x start y and and the reason we have to do all this here is we actually have to convert it into a percentage but it also starts from the bottom of the image which is completely different let me pull the that. So, zero, 00 is actually down here, so we have to invert the entire thing uh, into uh, percentage. So, we can go back into our block here. And under this function, where we grab the UV map, all we have to do is UV map dot. And go into, sorry, back into the UV map, we need to make this a static function as well. get UV map and we can go ahead and give it the name here and what we're gonna want to do is get underscore UV map it's going to be equal to that dot UV map so we're also gonna need in the draw function we need to specify a vector to array And when we do this, we just give it this dot UV map. And that's also going to change our math helper function. So we need to go into math helper and do that. Vector two array UV map like so. We're going to glance over the texture atlas code again. Pause if you need to. 
uh, the same output as before. Back in Math Helper here, we're gonna higher bit here at the bottom where we give the map, and we're gonna give the map that is passed in instead, like so. It's gonna take. Uh, just to save time, we're gonna use new system dot collection. Just change math helper or mesh data here. And a new list using you. Back in math helper here, we're gonna take that bit of code with all and this is gonna majorly crash if we run it as now but I want to check for any errors back over here sorry that's not what we want we want that there we want to supply Okay, and we're also going to need to do a couple more things here. Texture Atlas here. Texture 2D. So let's do a public static read only texture 2D. Name it Atlas. Here and Atlas equals Atlas. Actually, we already stored out. Let's just go up to where we do this, and like so. Okay, never mind. Back down here, and this is going to be equal to Atlas. If it lets us. Read only, so let's... Uh, Uh, change that from read only and we'll go ahead and add some tags onto it Public get private set okay. uh, It's gonna do get private set like that because it's already public. Sorry about that. And down here. But, uh, however, in chunk, we're gonna need to do a little bit more work. We're gonna do this bit here. And except for the material. Here. The texture is going to be equal to Atlas texture atlas dot. Okay, now the problem is these two have any texture function. We're just actually going to set them. Error doesn't matter because if it is error, we're just not going to draw at all. This dot equals error. Then return new mesh state. However, dirt is a different problem. We're going to actually need to go find out what we call. Run this. Going to crash. Uh, I have a couple different copies of dirt. And we can take the name here. Like so, remove this bit here. Uh, 
see how that works. Also got a couple of new issues. So I believe it's having an issue. So I'm going to wrap this in a try catch here. And engine.debug.log in draw cube colon plus e dot stack trace dot to string. Just in case nothing goes through, we'll go ahead and return it. Is being done here. For the start, so in the Unity update, that is. I'm back here, so we need to actually add this UV map into We're here and we can give it a shot now. Uh my so to dirt. So that's a little bit different than I'm. However, the UV map is. So oh, the, the way we can do that is we can go. And take a peek where at. Not getting it. Simple. All we do is if we come here, then we need to debug.log. Can't find associated image. Called plus here. And we can see if we get that as a problem. Go. Oh, let's double check, make sure that. Textures blocks. Dot PNG at the end there. Still not being able to find it.
here. That's for the M dot name dot equals name. So I also want to do it down here and uh, let's do a list string name new list string. Here I want to do names dot add and I want M plus and I want a colon not equal. So then I want system dot io dot file dot write all lines and I want to output txt and then I want uh, name slot ray and now I want to do game manager dot on dot exit game which does not exist thing. Uh, let me go check in blocks. Not one push. Also another thing. Oh, whoopsies. God.
Sorry about that, guys. First off, we need to go into chunk here. Um, we need to load the image from file. Yeah, let's stop. Um, we also need to uh, edit from there. A couple things we're going to want to do is do filter point. Uh, set it to filter mode dot point. <clears throat> also in the uh, texture atlas here, going to want to add an additional slot here after the square root. So we're going to want add an additional one that uh, because it starts at zero. So that's going to do that. Um, now we can take a peek at what it looks like here. Oh, we do have it. Uh, these lines here are a different kind of rendering. We can get rid of them. It's not too different. Um, on that note, we're going to just make sure that everything's actually working correct. Um, gonna go over here, switch these out. And where we're setting it to dirt, I want to do a little bit here. Uh, except this cutoff, I want at about two. And I'll set this down here to the same thing, except I want to do grass. Uh, which doesn't actually exist, so let's go ahead and. Or no, we. Uh, I don't have grass. Let's just do cobbles, dude. And that's pretty simple. We're just gonna copy this line here. Cobbles, dude. Look at this, see if it works. Still over here as well. And just to make sure, one more type here. Go ahead and add the third one here. Uh, we're gonna close, and it's gonna be bedrock. And in chunk, we'll just do at the very end after all this, if y is less than or equal to one, uh, copy this here, like so. Okay, so now we have, uh, whoopsies, the other way around, uh, other, sorry. Less than. Okay, so it is. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the uh, chunk class. Um, that one, the chunk class, the texture atlas that we created, well as one more class and then they will be in the description of the video. Sorry about it being so difficult. See you guys next time.